Let's look into karma for shader. This is default values, what we get when we create a node. We have a color, cortex, medulla, diffuse and specularity and advance. The color tab will give us control over the color. As we can see, melanin and melanin redness are set to 0401. And if we change those values, we will get the same as what we created as external node for better controlling the colors. So we also have here melanin randomization that will just randomize uh, every hair individually using the hair ID. We also have a thickness scale. This represents absorption and how thick the hair is. So if we increase this to two, we are making the hair much thicker and it absorbs more light, so as you can see, or reduce the thickness. And we also have a, a tint. Tint will give us possibility to dye a color on the hair if we want. If we put melanin and melanin redness to zero. Now we can also control a hair by picking a different colors here. This base color gets converted to absorption color and then it goes into the formula for hair. So the next tab is cortex. Here is the place where we will control the specularity of the hair. The first parameter is showing us uh, angle of our cuticles. This is the representation of that angle, a perfect cylinder and angle alpha that controls shifting the specularity on a hair. The next parameter is IOR, controlling how light is banded inside the cortex. The next parameter is roughness anisotropic, that just gives us a separate control over longitudinal and azimuthal roughness individually. Let's go a little bit closer and let's look the specularity only. So if we don't have that parameter checked, we can uh, make Make our hair tighter in the spec or more rougher and if we check this we will have possibility to change the roughness on uh, longitudinal and separately on azimuthal roughness as you can see this is extreme so most of the time you have a very small difference between them and we have here roughness randomization where again it uses the hair id to make some of them a little bit rougher and some of them a little bit tighter in the spec in advanced options, we have a cuticle reflectance. What we saw in a paper is that the cuticle layer form a clear coat over the cortex. Multiple cuticle scales stack up and form layer structure on top of the cortex. And this property increases cuticle reflectance compared to the Fresnel reflectance from a dielectric interface. So what this means, comparing a hair with a dielectric model, we could could have more reflectance in a hair than one. And some of the measurements from the papers of some animals, the reflectance is stronger because they have these layers stuck up on, on top of each other more than other hairs. So that is just increasing the specularity in intensity. And you can also decrease that. We have a hair extra reflectance lobe. If we want to introduce uh, in our hair iridescence or maybe some other color. We also can control here longitudinal azimuthal roughness the same way as it is on top. On next up we can control uh, medulla. We can uh, change the radius. So if we put the radius to be very small we can see here that is completely gone. So the medulla is brighter part and darker part is a cortex. We can also regulate here a medulla phase, that is a scattering of the light through the medulla, how much light goes through and how much light gets back. We can also change a medulla in advanced settings to have a diffuse model mixed in or being completely diffuse. And we also have possibility to change the opacity of the medulla. That means that the medulla will let other light go through. And we also can regulate here a medulla pigmentation. By default it's one. In a real life the medulla usually doesn't have a pigment in, it, in itself. So what is also important here to see if our medulla is big and we have it diffuse 
less light will go through. So if it's not diffuse, we have more light scattering inside and going through. Also, if medulla is completely diffuse and we change the opacity, we are also letting light going through. On the next tab, we have some extra controls. If we want to create uh, our hair to be dirty and has a diffuse model on it, pushing this value to one, it becomes completely diffused and a coat would give us a wet look. Here we have a custom hair ID. This is checked. Then we can plug here a custom name for hair ID. In our case, it is just ID. We also have random seed. If we want to change the random options that we mentioned before in roughness and melanin, cortex, medulla, blend, normal. If we want to make breakup in our cortex or medulla, we would plug in here the normal in these inputs and then we can blend between this input and what the hair cylinder have. We also have prune level. This will look the bounces in a hair and after eight pounds he will rough the specularity to optimize the render and have less noise level here in the parameter edit menu we have some presets that are coming from the paper bob cat cat deer dog human mouse and so on when we select one of those it will set up cuticle angle ior separate longitudinal and azimuthal roughness and cuticle reflectance it will set up the medulla radius and medulla phase and it will reset a melanin value to zero to see uh, this a little bit better we will create our fur layer and plug the absorption there and set up percentage to one and pick up some nice melanin value and now when we go to presets this would be bobcat then this one is cat and then this one would be deer, dog, human, mouse, rabbit, raccoon, and so on. 